peace, peace. So good to see you again. Yes, it has been quite a long time since my last video. Um, as you can see, things are a little different. <laughs> well, I just came to do um, a little short video on uh, cervical orgasm. Well, I in in my group, I had a question um, about my experiences with a cervical orgasms, and my experiences have been wonderful, of course, because it's like that deep, deep back wall of your sweet honey that's getting um, stimulated. So um, I can't say it's awesome for everyone because some people do not like that uh, penetration but you know sexual experiences are different for everyone now when you are dealing with cervical orgasms you're dealing with the penis um, the tip of the penis hitting the back of your sweet honey, your vagina, your yoni, hitting that cervix, that opening, going into the uterus. So, if you are maybe familiar with genital reflexology, I'm going to put a link to a picture below this video. And if you're in the group, um, it's a picture posted above the video or We'll figure it out. At least you can be able to in YouTube click the link to see the reflexology, general reflexology picture that was given to me by my wonderful teacher. <laughs> so um, back to it. That cervix place, that reflexology place in the tip of the penis um, connection is the heart chakra. So... The heart chakra is dealing with self-love and um, love of others and compassion and kindness and things of that nature. So when you understand, when you are going deep, when he's going deep, that deep place, then you are connecting on a heart level. So come on. If that's not somebody that you are trying to connect to in that way, ladies and gentlemen, think about this because our energy centers, uh, look, they just respond to what we doing, <laughs> to what we bring around. And then you have to deal with the crap to come along with it. So you're going to be connected to this person in an energetic, energetic kind of way. And fellas, don't be upset if, if she, she started falling in love with the good good, you know, because everybody are, is not aware of what just went down. You know, why all of a sudden I have like this you know, feeling or connection of, of, mm, I kind of dig him. And then, you know, guys getting all nervous because they like, oh, man, I'm trying to, you know, I'm feeling a certain way about her. And then people nervous and pushing people away. Look, you hitting that back wall and orgasming, even orgasming together or orgasming on, you know, a separate term, you taking her to that, you know, Ooh, can't handle it place and she orgasms over and over and over yes you're doing justice you are doing a wonderful healing justice she is going to heal in that place that may have been blocked she's opening up <laughs> with that orgasm that cervical orgasm that heart chakra orgasm and you can even deepen that if you're strong, you know, heart to heart at that same instance with your 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 penis all the way back to the end of her uh, back of her vagina, or you can whisper sweetness into her heart chakra here as you go deep and and cause just multiple orgasms and such a lovely healing. 
But understand when you you're doing this and you're making connections like that, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And so you don't want to connect with this person on that level, be careful. But if you do, um, blessings to you. <laughs> blessings to you. So, um, like I said, just a little short video on cervical orgasms. I enjoy them. And now that, you know, you have had my thoughts on it, because there are many people that are going to speak on this, and you can learn so much. This is just my viewpoint. And I hope you got a little bit out of this. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.